Another master for the company was that we reached our first seven figures within the first year of running Capital Ecom. I'm realizing that I'm, I'm never going back to a nine to five again because I realized that there's so many different opportunities out there. All it took was just one podcast, really. What's up guys? So my name is Jonathan. I've been working with Capital Ecom for over two years now. And my role here is I do a lot of the marketing and sales, as well as I handle a lot of the operations that happen within our company. Me and Mo, we, we co-founded this company together. Uh, we're basically the first pioneers that started this, this business. And then we brought on a lot of people uh, along the way. It was started from me just meeting Mo. I met him on a podcast and I wanted to become an affiliate um, that works for him in which I can do a lot of his sales and help him close clients. Uh, a lot of it had to do with him kind of leaving his company and at the same time, me leaving my podcast and we just connected the dots and realized that, hey, we could we could build really build something out of this. Mo needed someone to kind of help them build a business. And I was open to new things. At the time, I was working a nine to five and I really wanted to pursue an entrepreneurship route. Um, and I saw this as a perfect opportunity, not because I fell in love with e-commerce automation, but because I fell in love with what could happen in the future from building this business. Capital Ecom is an e-commerce automation company. So we originally started with building our own e-commerce stores. We have VAs to help us do that. So originally we started with drop shipping. Drop shipping, as a lot of you know, is a, is a very basic form of e-commerce. Um, anyone can do it really. We post an item online. When the sale happens, you basically go to a supplier account, buy the product and ship it directly to your customer. I think what I love most about Capital Ecom is how adaptable we are. We always have to constantly expand. And I realized that uh, after being with the company for about three years now, a lot of things happened where a lot of our Walmart accounts did get shut down. And what we had to do was we had to adapt and we had to find another e-commerce uh, store to kind of replace that. A lot of these other companies, I've heard horror stories of other people just kind of abandoning their clients and not uh, giving them another opportunity. For us, we realized that a lot of clients, their main goal was just to have a cash flowing opportunity, not caring about what platform would be on. When Walmart happened, what we did was we transitioned all, all of our clients into an Amazon store, which is another great cash flow opportunity. We basically got back into Amazon, transitioned all our clients back Back into something that's working again and again creating more cash flow opportunity for them yeah so a lot of our clients they're business owners themselves entrepreneurs in the space people that realize the power of e-commerce people that are in the digital space so people that know how much money you can make online a lot of them already own their own business and they're looking for an extra stream of income this is where we come in because we basically take on a client store and we fully manage it so they can work on whatever they're doing with their life whether that be real estate or they have their own restaurant uh, their doctors or lawyers a prestigious career that takes up a lot of their time at the end of the day if a doctor or a lawyer they cannot be building e-commerce store on the side because it's just it's just a full-time gig yeah so it's a lot of people that are looking to invest into another stream of income and a lot of business-minded people i would say that get that uh, come on board with our company at the end of the day it's more than just a client relationship it's a partnership so my personal milestone for this company was reached within a couple months of building it. Um, and the first one was leaving my nine to five. That's just because I realized that there was more to life than that. And I wanted to live life on my own terms. After that, another milestone for the company was that we reached our first seven figures um, in sales within the first year of running Capital Ecom, which at the end of the day is really good for a startup company. Personally, I've achieved many milestones for one of them being, I'm realizing that I'm, I'm never going back to a nine to five again, because I realized that there's so many different opportunities out there from all the people that I've met along the way um, I can literally go to them and understand the business model they do uh, maybe work with them in some way or build that business model for myself I think a big takeaway you guys could take from this video is to realize that there's a lot of different opportunities out there no matter what situation you're in if you're working in nine to five as well or you're a business owner or entrepreneur yourself that has already invested into your own business just realize that there's so many different ways to make money and there's a lot of different opportunities out there. So go out there and network, find new business partners, find new clients. And kind of at the end of the day, the world is your oyster. So go out there and network with people see what's out there for yourself so that you can change your life. Um, if you are still working in nine to five, you know, it's possible because I'm basically testimony that it is. Um, I did it for myself. All it took was just one podcast, really just, just meeting Mo on a podcast.